Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Barry, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm talking about pancreatitis and fatty pancreas and who's at risk. So pancreatitis is an inflammation of the pancreas and it is believed that this could be due to actually the enzymes of the pancreas itself attacking the pancreas. There could also be a relationship with overall inflammation in the body and leptin resistance as well, which is something that I talk a lot about in other videos. So make sure you check those out in my leptin resistance videos. So the fatty pancreas issue can be related to metabolic syndrome, which is something that I talk about in other videos as well, which is related to insulin resistance as well as improper blood lipid levels. So, you know, if you do have metabolic syndrome, it could put you at more risk for developing fatty pancreas. And the fatty pancreas disease was actually discovered first in 1933. And what was found is that there was a death happening of the particular pancreatic cells, the acinar cells, and they were becoming replaced by fat. So certain conditions can actually put you at risk for the fatty pancreas. So these include being overweight, and we know that obesity is definitely related to the fatty liver as well, but also can compromise the pancreatic health, as well as age. So as we're aging, this is definitely on the rise in terms of fat fatty pancreas, as well as males. So if you are male, then you have a higher risk of developing this condition. Also an increase in blood pressure can be related to fatty pancreas. Also increased alcohol consumption is definitely related to this. We know that alcohol puts us at risk of different diseases, including fatty liver as well, and often fatty liver and fatty pancreas go hand in hand with one another. And increased ferritin levels, so in terms of being able to transport our iron in the blood can also put you at risk for fatty pancreas. So there you have it. So in other videos, I will talk more about what you can do about fatty pancreas and some of the things to avoid in your diet so that you really decrease your risks of developing this condition. But I hope that gives you some insight into the fact that this actually does exist as a condition and what you need to do to look out for its prevention in terms of your your own overall health. So I hope that you learned something new. Please keep me posted in the comments if you've got questions as well. I would love to hear from you. Also be sure to share this video with someone that you know will benefit from this information. I appreciate all the thumbs ups that you can give me as well. And if you're new to my channel, welcome in. I hope that you'll subscribe and you'll also click that bell to turn on your notifications so you always get my newest and latest uploads. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching me today.